Hello, my beautiful Aries. Thank you for joining me. This is Mary at Mystic Whispers of Wisdom Tarot. Just did a lovely reading. And now I want to clean my hands with the crystals. And I've pre-shuffled the cards. We're going to get right into your love reading for the second half of July. Thank you so much, all my lovely subscribers that have joined me. I appreciate you so, so much. And all of you that have had readings, it's been such a pleasure. I love getting all of your comments. I do readings that you're going to see just like this for $17 with uh, photos and descriptions. And you can email me at mysticwisdomtarot at gmail. And a live reading like this is only $44 and you'll get the recording link. But anyway, enough of that. This is about Aries for the second half of July 2019 in love. We want to know how our partner feels about us. Will they come forward? Any messages for the Divine Collective of Aries? We call in all your spirit guides. We've called in Mary Magdalene. We've called in... Oh, who else? Oh, yeah, I got Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. And you guys are going to probably have some miracles happen this month because uh, this, uh, you might even get some baby news. I'm having a feeling. Some news about conceiving. Oh, it's interesting cards. Mercury is retrograde, by the way, and through the end of the month. So just be patient and know and think before you speak. My cards always know when it's Mercury retrograde. They come out so funny. That full moon is on the 16th in Capricorn, and that could bring you a lot of rewards. All right. What is happening in love for Aries? Please tell us about how they're... Think about the partner that you want messages from. And uh, there it is. Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I know the other cards came out first, but I got to grab these. Wow, this is a soulmate. This is new love coming in. If you don't have it, start visualizing. Because I'll tell you that new moon on the 31st is going to light up your love sector. And we got the seven of cups. In a lot of cases, I see the delusions, illusions. But in your case, I see it as creative visualization is very important right now. Write out your affirmations and goals. You are the Empress. This comes out for every reading, I swear to God, especially my private reading. It's like the first card out, usually in my other deck, and we're going to use that um, to clarify. You are standing in your power. Venus, divine beauty, fertile. Was I just saying a baby could be conceived? I mean, if you're age appropriate. I'm a grandmother, so you could be expecting grandchildren. Um, <clears throat> beautiful balancing things out in your life you know the world is always a little rocky and we do have to balance ourselves and that's fine simple message there so this person you're thinking about may be traveling to you the three of wands and to have, you, where's my wand uh you see how the horizon's pretty blank pretty empty and remember i was telling you you need to start visualizing what it is you want a person a place a thing whatever it is it's time for you to manifest by using your creative visualization skills you are the empress you know how to do that what is it that you see out there what do you want to choose seems that your partner may be coming in or traveling to you he's very slow moving he's got the pentacle here that knight in shining armor that is loyal, has valor, you know, he is a knight. and But he's coming in a little slow, but there will be justice. Justice will be served. If you're waiting and waiting, I promise you, you will hear something soon. Because following that was our beautiful Ace of Cups. You are his wish. You are his perfect union it's like the universe handing you this cup of love 
and it's reciprocity, balance, and union. Lovely. <clears throat> you are his holy grail. Oh God, when I see these together too, people always ask me, are we going to have a baby? And I, uh, if I see the sun with the baby on the horse, yes. But a lot of times I'll see this, the empress with the ace of cups. Because she is with child or very fertile here. She is Mother Earth. See, she's very imbalanced. If you stay in balance, she's got the seven chakras on her pearl necklace here. She's very imbalanced. She's got her crown chakra wide open, all that yellow. She knows her value. She knows her worth. Stand in your power, my dear one. Stand in your power and it shall come. Let me clarify these cards with another deck. How does our Aries partner feel about Aries? The person that they're thinking about. Please, spirit guides for the collective Aries, help with the messages here to bring them hope and healing and forgiveness. I don't know why I said that, but I just think some of us, ooh, did you hear that pop? There's that Knight of uh, Pentacles again. Same here, same here. I hope you can see him doing this on a different channel, a uh, different camera. So that Knight of Pentacles is coming in. Did you hear it pop? He's juggling some things so he can come forward, okay? He has some things to plan before he can come forward. Okay, and what is his vision for you? What is his vision for you? He sees you as the Empress. What does he see for the future together with Aries? Please, Spirit Guides, give us the highest and best messages for Aries so that they can find peace in their heart. Ah, yeah, they're choosing you. They're seven to the two. They're looking out and they're choosing the path and they're choosing you, their empress. Mm -hmm. Tell us how this uh, soulmate twin flame feels about Aries, our empress. Tell us about how this person feels about Aries. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Something has fallen away. The tower reversed, very interesting. Something had to be ended for them to come to you. And we have the emperor and the empress. Oh, I love this when I get this for my clients and they're reading. Oh, and the empress in this deck, I'll have to find her. She's so beautiful. This other gilded tarot. Um, there you are, my dear ones. Power, couple, divine union. God, your angels, spirit guides are working to put you together. You may be coming together in the astral realm in your dreams. Lady Venus is giving you downloads and information so that you can meet in that realm and heal from whatever trauma that has happened, some ending. Maybe he has to leave a karmic in that choice just before this. We're going to have to go back. We're going to have to go back here and see why he's choosing you. Did he leave somebody else? We'll clarify that. Spirit guides, clarify the tower card. Is the person that Aries thinking about leaving someone else? Why the tower, the two of wands? Why the tower and the two of wands? Please clarify for Aries. We call in all their spirit guides and angels to give them the highest, best messages from the Divine, Mother Mary, Holy Spirit, Mary Magdalene, Archangel Michael. We like only the highest and best. Of course, Three of Wands. They're coming to you. They're leaving somebody else behind. But I still want to know. I can never stop. When I do private readings, it's the same way. That's why I end up having to send you guys like two emails because they're too long. For 17 bucks, you guys, ain't bad, right? I'm not one of those greedy readers. It's like, what? $17 for one card? I couldn't, I couldn't do it if I tried. 
They're choosing you, Aries. The Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. They see you as their beautiful counterpart. Very, very successful in your own business. And it doesn't mean that you're making a million dollars. You could live in a little cottage by the sea and just, you know, bake your own bread. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the empress here with all the wheat. She's a, an amazing homemaker, a beautiful woman, knows how to make love to a, an emperor. He's got a, he's a bit of, very logical, but remember, we're blending male and female energies right now. We come together so that we can heal each other and he can feel a little of that bit of that empress in him as well he's leaving somebody to come to you oh my god and there he is king of want well, i'm sorry king of cups he does love you he is coming forward even though he is the emperor and you guys switch this up if you're males watching i am so sorry but 80 percent women watch so i catch that vibe but if you're watching um, you know, just switch up the sexes, okay? We're all the divine masculine, the divine feminine within, the yin, the yang. We are trying to balance out all our lives. So he's coming in with a cup of love, okay? He can be holding back a little bit. I see him looking down. He is the emperor, don't forget, but there is definitely a love there. And he's three of wands again, three of wands again. To clarify, he's coming to you from a distance, I have a feeling. And we got the we got the Knight of Cups, I mean the Knight of Pentacles twice as well. He's a little slow. Be patient. So I want to clarify this guy. Who is he? He's our emperor. He's our king of cups. He's coming. He's coming slowly, but let's clarify the Three of Wands again. Is he our wish fulfilled? Does he see us as his wish fulfilled? Three of Wands, please clarify. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Ariel, these collective spirit guides of Aries for the best and highest messages so that they can be at peace with what comes through and yes the magician he's using everything he's got to get to you the cups the wand the sword of truth i sometimes see him as a little bit of a trickster but who cares we like a man that's got a little mystery a little gumption he's using everything he's he can to get to you he's leaving his karmic that tower moment we're going to clarify the two of cups and the ace of cups but i want to check out this knight of pentacles he's coming in slow why why is he coming in slow does he have hurt from the past why is he taking his time his or her time please tell aries what they need to know regarding this yeah yeah yep 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 Clarify the Knight of Pentacles twice is the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning. He's very nervous. He's staying up nights thinking about how to get to you. How am I going to get to her? Him. How am I going to get to them and make this huge offer? You guys are like spiritually connected. I haven't got the Hierophant, but I got the Justice card. Ooh justice of the peace is he coming to get to you with a proposal let's see justice two of cups ace of cups ace of pentacles beautiful beautiful spirit guys thank you so much for all your beautiful messages coming through today help me to clarify for aries the messages they need Ooh, i'm getting the chills Tell us about this divine union. Thank you, spirit guides. I feel you. Oh, makes me want to cry, you guys. I feel this love so deep from this person to you. Ah. 
<laughs> so funny. I've watched other readers and I see them all crying up and I, I get it. He sees you as his divine empress. This is such a sacred union. You better take it serious, you guys, because remember I said I was going to try to find her. She's in this deck. There she is in this deck, the Divine Venus, the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine coming together, raising the Kundalini so that the planet can be vibrating high. You guys are coming together so you can heal all of us. We need your love. Divine love, divine union. I'm so happy for you. Sorry I'm crying. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Bottom of the deck is the star card. A healing is going to happen when you come together. Please release the past. Oh, God. Forgiveness. You know that affirmation, forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is almost always the answer to every problem. That is the justice here. I forgive and I set myself free. You cannot sit in a place of righteous resentment. We have to let go of what is behind us and choose our future. Even if we don't know exactly how to forgive, we can be willing to forgive and the universe will respond to your willingness and will help you find a way. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This Mercury retrograde is getting to me too and all these eclipses. Woo. Your life is never going to be the same after the 31st. I'm so happy for you, Aries. You deserve it. Do I need a romance angel card? I can't wait to do my own romance angel cards. You know, I used to work with the Conscious Life Expo, New Living Expo. I produced events all around the country. I uh, had breakfast with Wayne Dyer and Deepak Chopra. I worked with Marianne Williamson. Of course, I met her. She did our LAX Conscious Life Expo. I saw a lot of actors come to that. But, you know, everybody should be helping each other raise their vibration. And... Uh, but anyway, Doreen Virtue made these cards when she was really into, you know, the Oracle. And now she's gone to Jesus, which is fine, you know. Everybody has their path. What is Aries' spiritual guide messages? She used to talk to the angels. I mean, she knew. She would get look at someone and trust. Trust, you guys. You have to trust. That it's coming okay it's coming it's coming trust and believe that the divine union is coming and it will I want you to read that book speaking of my expos I used to work with Debbie Ford and her sister Ariel Ford wrote a book soulmate secrets I need to get that I need to start my own like I don't know selling stuff on Etsy or something because I tell all my clients to get that book and if love is a game and these are the rules because once you come together at this power couple you're gonna have to know how to communicate to him all right my divine divine souls i thank you so much for joining me i send you lots of angel love and blessings please join me and subscribe and remember you can always reach me at mysticwisdomtarot at gmail.com ciao bella